Gotta draw them all, and Eastern Kentucky University students' love of Pokemon is coming to life around campus. W uh, Wiley Cottle is drawing the pocket monsters on buildings, and as Sabira Rayford found out, EKU is using those drawings to get into the Pokemon Go craze. It's not unusual to see an inspiring piece of art around a college campus, but take a second look around Eastern Kentucky University, and you might just catch a Pokemon. Hope I, hope I don't miss. I only have one Pokeball left. The original Pokemon card game came out the year Wally Caudle was born, but as soon as he was old enough to indulge, he was hooked. It's just been a huge part of my childhood, and I just never let it go. Now Caudle has taken his love for Pokemon from the phone screen to the walls of EKU's campus. Go ahead and just start coloring this baby. Part of the art I like is that it doesn't stick around, so you have to, if you want to come see it in person, and you better you better move fast because the rain's going to come and it'll wash it right away. Cottle says this is something he's been doing for a while, but after someone in the marketing department saw one of his drawings, they decided to start a campaign called Pokemon EKU. He says drawing them on campus can sometimes be too much of a showstopper. Yesterday I had uh, facilities kind of shut me down because they didn't realize I had permission to do this around campus. And they asked me to stop. Sometimes I get the police called on me because uh, people will drive by and think it's spray paint because it turns out so smooth, like paint. But he's not letting a few bumps stop him. Caudel says he is focused on finishing this collection one Pokemon at a time. In Richmond, Sabir Rayford, WKYT. Real talent there. Caudel says one of his murals usually takes around four or five hours to create.